Good morning, Mrs. Coriel's class. Good morning, Mrs. Coriel's Today we are working on 1.2 dividing integers. And the question that I have for you is, can you divide integers, yes or no? Yes. yes. OK, great. And we're going to practice our long division, our McDonald's math, so that we can get really good at it, yes? Yes. yes? All right. All right, so quotient. A quotient is the answer to what kind of problem? Answer to a division problem. And when we have division problems, we have something that does the dividing. What is that number, or what is that thing called that does the dividing? Divisor. Divisor. And then something is being divided usually, or always. The thing that is being divided is called the dividend. The dividend. And sometimes when we divide, we have a leftover number. That leftover number is called a remainder. remainder. Now, when we do long division, we have a way to remember the process. It's called McDonald's math. On the count of three, we're going to read through the process together. One, two, three. Does McDonald's serve burgers rare? Awesome. And what does the does in does McDonald's serve burgers rare stand for? Divide. What does the M in McDonald's stand for? Multiply. What does the S in serve stand for? Subtract. What does the B in burgers represent? Bring down. What does the R in rare represent? Repeat. So that's our process for long division, yes? I'm going to do a long division problem with you guys. So we're going to pretend like we have not done this problem, and I'm going to do it right now with you. So I'm going to go down to number seven. Um, when we started doing our notes um, for, number, um, for number seven, the original problem was 437 divided by six, okay? Yeah. So you're just paying attention to everything that's in the pink. And we're going to go through the problem. And so this is how we would do it in our brains when we're doing our homework. Class, question, does six go into four? No. no, so if 6 doesn't go into 4, the first thing we start off with is division. We have to put what up here? Place value holder. And what is our place value holder going to be? Zero. Zero. So if 6 doesn't go into 4, we have to actually combine with the next number. Does 6 go into 43? Yes. Yeah, so in McDonald's math, we say, does McDonald's serve burgers rare? And the D stands for? Divide. And how many times does 6 go into 43? Seven. Seven. So I'm going to put a 7 up here. Does McDonald's, what does McDonald's stand for now? Multiply. And I'm going to multiply the 7 by the six. the 7 by the 6, right? So what is 7 times 6? 42. It's 42. We need to know this, right? So now we've multiplied. Does McDonald's, McDonald's stands for multiply, serve. What does serve represent? What does serve? So I'm going to subtract the 43 and the 42, right? Yeah. So what is 43 minus 42? Two. What is 43 minus 42? One. One. So now I've subtracted. So does McDonald's serve? Serve means subtract. Does McDonald's serve burgers? What does burgers represent? Yeah. Do I need to draw this arrow? Yeah. So I bring down my next number, which is? Seven. Does McDonald's serve burgers is bring down rare? What does rare represent? Three. So I go back and I start the process over again, right? Yeah. So my new dividend is 17. I'm still using 6. Does 6 go into 17? Yes. How many times? So I put the 2 up here, so that's my division. Does McDonald's, McDonald's stands for what? Multiply. I'm going to multiply the 2 and the 6, yes? yes. What is 2 times 6? Twelve. Does McDonald's, I'm now done with multiplying, does McDonald's serve? What does serve represent? Subtract. And what am I going to subtract? Seventeen minus twelve. And what do you get when you subtract that? Five. So I'm now subtracted, does McDonald's serve burgers? What does burgers represent? Bring down. Is there anything over here to bring down? No. So I still have a leftover number, which is called a? Remainder. So I go ahead and write my remainder up here. Yes, no? Yes. And I always do what to my answers? Awesome. We okay? Yes. 